Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to carry on machining the cylinder block. And I've got this set up in this vise. You can see I've got it clamped on the faces of the cylinders rather than the casting below. To get that level I've used a gauge. And I've gone back and forth many times to get it as good as I can level that way. And I've chosen the best corner there and done the same again to get that level there. Right, so the centre from the cylinder to the top corner is 1 and 3 sixteenths. Now you'll see when I machine it that it's going to cut into that flange there. But if I show you the drawing... There is the one and three sixteenths from the center of the cylinder to the top. And then on there, you can see it's going down on that flange. And when I've checked my measurements, that's exactly what's going to happen on there. So don't worry if you think it's wrong, I'm going with the drawing. Right, let's get on and machine it then. I'll just Uber up and then we'll have a look at it. Right, I'm happy with that, nice and flat. As you can see, it's taken part of the flange for the piston uh, cap off. Right, next thing then, without taking this out of the setup, I'm going to blue that. And then mark out 
for the steamways. I'll show you the drawing. Right on top of that, what I've just flattened off now, I have to mark out these areas and machine them out. These middle parts are left in. They help support um, the plate that goes on there. So let's get it marked out. Okay, so I've got the top marked out. The first thing I'm going to machine on here, if you look at the drawing, these two slots here. The next thing will be these pockets. These middle bits will be left on as the drawing, as you can see here. And after I've machined all four pockets, they're only an eighth deep. I've got to drill these holes. Now these holes are the steam holes that go each end of the cylinder to allow the steam in each end to push the piston each way. So let's get on. So as I say, I'm going to machine these two slots first, quarter inch wide, 532s deep. And they're on that center line there. So the overall hole is from there to there on that one, and then from there to there. So let's get on. Well, that's one of the slots done. I'll just move, move the cutter over and do the second slot. Right, that's the two slots in the middle done. Next, I'm going to machine out these pockets, leaving these little middle bits in. I'll just put the camera back on the stand. I don't know if you can see that, I'll just zoom in for you. Right, I'll just carry on and finish that pocket. Get back to you. Right, so that's one of the little pockets machined. I'm happy with the way that turned out. Now I'll do the other three. I'll get back to you. Right, that's all four little pockets machined. Next thing I'm going to do is drill the holes. That'll go through and let the steam go to each end of the cylinder. I've got to move the angle a bit so it's not straight through or else the bottom of the hole would be too far in. 
Right, I'm just drilling the steam holes in each end of the cylinder. Right, that's those holes drilled. I'll just show you. Right, so that's five holes in the large cylinder. Four holes in the high pressure cylinder. Now I've got to jig it up and do the other side. So I'll just do that, get back to you. Right, that's all four lots of holes drilled. Right, that's the machining of the cylinder block done for the minute. There's still a bit to do, like the uh, studs fitting in here for the next part that goes on the top. But what's got to go on there now, we've got to make a valve plate out of either gauge plate or bronze. And what that does is if I've drawn some lines on this piece of paper, when you've got the valves, this is the valve chest here, which will be on the top of there. Or on the top of there anyway the valves are going back and forth which then will direct the um, steam from the center when the valve is this way the steam will go in to this side of the piston and then as the valve moves forward It directs the steam from there to that side of the piston through the plate that's got to go on there and then the steam will exhaust from this end through here as the piston is moved back this way. But looking at the drawings they say like the fixing bolts that go on there something like that the fixing bolts that hold the lid on you machine this up put that on there machine this part up nice and then drill through for the fixing bolts the f and then through there and then through the plate and then to here which will be the bolts go right through on the outside side and on the top they only go into this side but the next job will be yes I'm going to machine up the top now and on here will be I think that's the right way around or that way around I'm not quite sure at the minute but you've got a whistle a pressure valve safety valve and there's a oiler I think that goes around that way a ratchet oiler anyway I would like to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel and wish them all a Merry Christmas. Please subscribe to my channel. And join me as I build a 2 inch scale Fowler Showman's Traction Engine. Merry Christmas everyone.